Hey YouTube, this is College Suit. Just going to show you a cool, a cool tutorial about how to work with some fonts, or you can have your own pictures, or you can do whatever you want, but just trying to um, get some cool effects going with them. So first thing we're going to do is pull out our type tool, and just type in a word that you would like, or you can use a picture, or you can use whatever you want. I'm going to start off with College Suit, and get it, just center it. Cool. Then I'm going to select it, and I'm going to go Object Expand, and you just click OK. And what expand it, what expanding it will do is it'll add anchor points to all your um, sides. And so if you press A or you take out your direct selection tool, you can see here that now I can oops that I can select an anchor point and I can pull I can pull parts of this uh, of this letter and make it work how I want it to be. And so you know you can change stuff up however you want. And so it's not just type anymore. And then we're gonna select this. And then we're going to go object, path, offset path. And what that's going to, and these are the settings I have. This is offset 5.5, meter limit 7. And what this is going to do is it's going to put something right behind it. Um, it's going to put just something right behind it, almost bigger. Um, and go OK. And so you can see here that we have our path, but if you click out, it's just thicker text. And so that's not really what we want. And so let's go back, and then we're going to select the t this type again that we just did, and we're going to make a stroke to it. So get a stroke and have your stroke be about two points. And so now we have the college toot with a stroke around it. Now we're going to go path, offset path, and go preview. Uh, that looks pretty good. And so the offset, what that'll do is if you change it to say, you know, nine, it'll just make the it'll just make the layer behind it or the type behind it bigger. But I like 5.5. .5. And so we'll go 5.5. .5. Cool. So it doesn't look too bad. Um, and so the first option that we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to make some cool dashed lines and so if you select if you select everything and then come over here to the stroke and if you don't have the stroke um, window open just go to window stroke and I'm just going to go dash lined and so you can see here that it's starting to make a dash line and you can kind of just mess around with some settings of what you like and I kind of like this one because it kind of looks like some bricks and so you can see here you got some cool little type that just makes it look like some bricks or some Tonka toys or or whatever you'd like and you can come over here and you can mess around with the gaps in between each um, in between each stroke in each brick and stuff or you can mess around with you know right now we have that at 12 let's go to maybe 5 and so you can see here it just makes just changes it up but it gets some cool effects and so that's one thing that you can do with some offset paths which is kinda cool but we're gonna go back I'm just clicking control Z right now just go back and then so we have this right here and I'm gonna offset path again path offset path and go OK and so you can he see here it's just adding more and more layers path offset path behind it making it bigger and bigger path offset path probably the last one and so you can see here now it's getting really crazy and it's just it kinda gives it a 60's feel and you just come around here and it just offsets and what's cool is it doesn't overlap and like with this U, it just goes straight right here, and then it'll just pop out. But you have to make sure you added the stroke in the beginning, or else you won't get this white line um, in the middle like you'd like. And then another cool effect is, say you want, let's just go over to the C over here. Say you wanted to take out, take out some, you could just go in there and click on the layer, and then click delete, and it'll take away, um, it'll take, it'll take it away. And so you can take out some, take out some layers or whatever you want. Or you can just uh, mess around with the meter and um, offset again. So that's this tutorial. Hope it worked out for you. Um, please subscribe to my channel if you want to get some cool videos later on. Or um, no worries. Um, please message me with any tutorial topics. And have a good day. Later.